What is up people and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the CB9 Exploding Crossbow in Helldivers 2. So let's get into it. To purchase a crossbow you're going to go into the Democratic Detonation War Bond. Scroll down to page 3 and you're going to find it in the bottom right hand corner. And it costs 80 medals to unlock. Taking a look at the stats then we're going to head into the armory, into primaries and we're going to find it in the explosive section. The description reads as follows. Fires powerful exploding bolts which do maximum damage upon direct impact. Gravity must be accounted for when firing. For stats, it's got 420 damage, a capacity of 5, recoil of 35 and a fire rate of 50. And for weapon traits, it's explosive. In terms of what it comes with then, it has 12 mags, each one coming with 5 bolts, a semi-automatic firing mode and no variables for the scope. So with all of that out of the way, let's get straight into the review. I'm going to discuss pros, cons and then do a final review. My first pro is going to be the AOE or area of effect. It's not a pro because it's so amazing to be honest, but just because it exists. Being able to shoot one bolt and potentially kill three, four or five enemies is something that I'm never going to knock. The next pro ties in with the AOE and it's the ability to clear out light armoured enemies. This is the only place that the crossbow really shines in when it comes to killing enemies. You can clear out patrols on small outposts decently with a mag or maybe two of this weapon and in extremely rare circumstances like you'll see later in this video you can take out up to 40 automaton troopers with a single mag but that's once in a blue moon. Another pro is the ability to one hit scout striders. I'm not going to talk too much on this but if you play against the automatons it's always nice to have a weapon that can do this. And finally it's something very different to use. If you're someone who likes to play with crossbows in other games or just wants to play with something different then you might enjoy this but if you can't tell i'm really scraping the barrel here so let's get into the cons okay so the first con is going to be the magazine size you get 12 mags with five bolts each this is the same as the eruptor and in my review of that which you can see here i had the magazine size as a pro and the reason is per bullet you're getting way more bang for your buck with the crossbow however this is not the case next we have range and drop off both are bad, worse than the Eruptor on both sides. There is no automatic detonation with this weapon beyond a certain distance, but you're going to have to raise and lead the gun so much that it's not practical to aim at targets far away. Up next then, we have damage. Again, underwhelming. You can one-shot light armoured enemies, but honestly, I'm not sure if it's a bug or perhaps I'm going crazy, but sometimes it doesn't even seem to one-shot the easiest of enemies. So on the automaton side, troopers and scout striders can be one-shot, Devastators can also be a one shot, although this is very hard to do due to the range and drop off I mentioned earlier. So to the body you're looking at three shots. Berserkers can be one shot, but can also take multiple. And anything above that I wouldn't even bother. Looking at the terminids then, scavengers can be one shot, but warriors, hive guards and brood commanders are so inconsistent in terms of the damage they take. Sometimes it appears to be a one shot, other times it's multiple and sometimes it seems like you're just stunning them or doing nothing at all. Basically, the damage can vary greatly. And finally, it's a primary weapon, and I'm struggling to think of any reason that you would take this over any other primary weapon right now. I might be missing something, but I don't think I am. In conclusion, the CB9 Exploding Crossbow is kind of doo-doo. I'm really scratching my head here trying to understand its role and what purpose it serves in the game right now. It's the Eruptor with a faster rack slash reload speed, but worse than every other single department like damage, AOE, range, velocity and utility. At the time of recording this review I'll have tested 3 out of the 4 new weapons in the Democratic Demolition Warbond and this is at the back of the pack for the moment. I feel like it's going to disappoint a lot of people. I know that leaked gameplay is not something to take as gospel but that footage showed it was able to destroy fabricators and it looked like it had better range as well. And right now all it is good for is clearing out light patrols and not much else. But I don't like to be very negative so let's talk about what can be done to make this weapon better. Because I don't think it's that hard like most things in this game. It's just one or two minor tweaks to bring it to where it needs to be. So I'm going to share three ideas and let me know down below in the comments which one makes the most sense in your opinion. Or if they're all bad and you know what should happen feel free to share that as well. Idea number one. Leave it alone and don't do a single thing to it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but in Helldivers 1 you were able to upgrade weapons, changing things like the damage, ammo capacity and type of rounds that could be fired. So maybe the devs know better than us and further down the line when we're able to upgrade our weapons because I can't imagine that they would leave that feature out, 
the upgrades that will be available to the crossbow will bring it to a balanced usable level. I don't know that this idea will be very popular though because surely if this is bad now compared to all the other weapons then when all the other weapons get upgrades in comparison it will still be bad unless it has something that is exclusive to the crossbow only. Idea number two is a pretty standard and reasonable one I think. Give the crossbow a certain amount of utility. I don't think anybody needs this to take out dropships, mortar emplacements, cannons or shrieker nests but the fact that I can't destroy an automaton fabricator or a terminate bulk hull or an illegal broadcast for that matter when like I said earlier it's a worse eruptor doesn't make sense to me. Even if it was limited to bulk hulls, fabricators, illegal broadcasts and spores as well that would be quite reasonable. All of these things can be destroyed by a grenade, why not an explosive crossbow? And if for realism reasons you wanted to make it so that for fabricators it could only go through the door instead of the vents unless you're aiming at a downward angle whatever just give the utility to the weapon also maybe make it one-handed i don't know how practical or realistic it is to wield a crossbow in one hand but i feel like the same goes for an smg the crossbow pulls back automatically already and because of how small it is it makes sense to me that it would work with the ballistic shield and because of the fact that the range is so short that you have to be closer to enemies which means that especially when fighting the terminates you're constantly getting messed up by its aoe maybe add something in where the riot shield is impervious to the effects of the crossbow's explosion there could be something interesting there and my third and last idea and this is a real wild show but leave the crossbow exactly as it is or possibly nerf it either reducing the aoe and or lowering the mag count down to six or four mags and then make it a secondary. I feel like some of you might be with me and I don't think it's that crazy. You've got your standard pistol when you start the game, the redeemer which has an insane fire rate and shreds enemies, the senator which has medium armor penetration allowing you to take on the bigger baddies, throwing something like an explosive crossbow with similar size and no utility in terms of destroying any enemy structures. I feel like there's something there but let me know in the comments section. And that's it. So if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. Let me know what I can do better. And I will see you all in the next one.